Hi, Tigers. I just want to talk to you guys about the GELDs, which is the developmental standards for the early learning uh, in Georgia. So during our conference, we talked about the GELDs. This is their website. Here's the home that it'll tell you about the different domains that we assess the children on. Physical development and motor skills, social and emotional development, approaches to play and learning, communication, language and literacy, and cognitive development and general knowledge. When you go into the GELDs, it will have the five developmental domains and you click on the first one and you see select age group. Well, our children is from, they're from 36 to 48 months. So I'm gonna click off all and I'm going to click on the 36 to 48 months and we will go down here under the physical development and motor skills PDM and I will tell you about the standards. So each one of these domains have um, anywhere from three to six standards. And this one has six standards. So you would go and you will look at the first standard, say the child will practice healthy and safe habits. So you will click on here, and then it shows the different indicators for this age group. So you will look at the indicator, stays awake except during nap time actively participates in a variety of both structured and unstructured indoor and outdoor physical activities for a sustained period of time. So you look at the first one, you see PDM 1.3a, and you ask yourself, well, what do these numbers mean? Well, the PDM means physical development motor skills, PDM, and the one indicates the first standard. Then there's a dot and then there's a number after that, three. Well, three indicates the age of the child, which is three. And the A is in the first place. So that is the first indicator. Thus, PDM, one as in the first standard, period, three as in the age, three-year-old, and A, in the first area. So to get more information, you can actually click this and it shows the indicator detail. Stays awake except during nap time. The rationale, three-year-olds are actively engaged in their daily routines with a good night's sleep and often an afternoon nap. And here are examples. And it shows you the different examples that three-year-olds should be doing or starting to do. So let me click on this. Each one has these type of details that you can look on. Some of them have videos that you can see and they show you samples. This is what the teachers um, are using. These are standards that help your children become successful in the pre-k and kindergarten. Um, this right here, 48 to 60 months, is the indicator and the standards for a pre-K student. After that, the Georgia standards use G-Kids. G-Kids has a website, um, and that one talks about what your kids are supposed to be learning in kindergarten and what they're supposed to be taught and the standards that they're supposed to complete. So you can go on each one of these. Here's social emotional, and you click on here. The standard is social emotional development, S-E-D. And one is the first standard. The child will develop self-awareness. And then you look down and here are the different indicators of self-awareness recognizes self as a unique individual, demonstrates knowledge of personal information. Let's click on this one right here. 
three-year-old are more independent and start to define themselves in more concrete terms as part of their self-identity. Responds, I have a brother in my family, after teacher talks about the concept of family in class. All your kids did great with that one, actually. And then it goes on, approaches to play and learning, child will discriminate, de demonstrate initiative and self-direction. There's the language and literacy, that's reading, and cognitive skills. Now, cognitive has subdomains, which means they have math, science, social studies, creative development, and cognitive process. This is like counting numbers and sequencing and solving problems. Scientific skills. This goes into physical science and living things, earth and sky. This is dance and expressive movement and moving objects and playing instruments and being creative in dramatic play. And cognitive processes, cause and effect, building new knowledge and problem solving. So all these standards are here for you guys to look and see, and these are what the teachers are supposed to be um, assessing your children on. This starts with zero to 12 months. So you'd go into zero to 12 months and you look at the first one for physical development. You could click on this one. Sleeps well and shows alertness during waking period, periods, and it shows the month here. And you can click on the indicator, and it shows what your child should be doing or should have done during this time. Zero means zero to 12 months old. Now, on this website, there are also resources that you can click on that helps you with different things. Um, there are videos, instruction on what everything looks like or supposed to look in the classroom when the teachers are teaching. And then indicators. These are training for the teachers, of course. Um, how to write lesson plans and stuff like that. And um, this just tells you who started the D, the um, GELS program and what it's at all about. And it's connected to the Georgia preschool pre-K program. And um, this is just a really great resource and really good website um, that you guys should check out. So. Um, when I do lesson plans, I will put down, let me click this off and click on this one. I will put down an indicator. So say, um, for example, recognizes self as unique individual. Um, I will do a lesson plan on um, having the children look in the mirror and talk to talk about themselves or who they are, or have the children, um, what they did is they did their self drawings that they did. And that was part of the standards, um, recognizing the self-awareness. And so I will write down in the lesson plan, um, child will do a um, drawing of the self. Um, and I would put this num I would put this down below it, um, SED 1.3A, and I'd put that indicator below um, the instructions. So um, in the lesson plans, that Beverly or the, my assistant teacher um, would know that this is what I am assessing 
um, this is what I'm looking at. And um, when the child does that, I check it off. Um, and I keep a lot of these um, works that your child does in a portfolio. And then at the end, I look back on it and um, I reflect and I say, okay, they did this, this, and this. They're, um, they're following their developmental milestones and that's great. And that's how I do that. So um, I am now going to get off of here, and um, I hope that this instruction um, helps you understand um, the Georgia Early Learning Standards. Um, you can go on this website anytime and just check off, um, and um, sometimes I'll put the indicator numbers on there for you guys to look at. I haven't done it so far, but um, what I will start uh, doing it more and more after um, Christmas time. Uh, I've been a little slow to put down these indicators um, due to my school um, and due to just uh, the unsureness of um, what's happening. And um, now we've become, we're becoming more set and things, and I think I'm able to um, to be able to do this now. So anyway, thank you guys very much. Take care.